A trip inside the St. Petersburg Police Headquarters shows a growing modern police force struggling to fit employees and 21st century crime fighting technology in an aging 1950s building. The most obvious problem, a lack of space. Filing cabinets line the hallways and stacked boxes fill every office. Even in the narcotics holding area, drugs reach the ceiling waiting for disposal. During his recent State of the City address, Mayor Rick Kreisman mentioned his initial tour after taking office. What we saw was a building that had been neglected, that lacks sufficient space, that can't withstand even a minor hurricane, a building not worthy of the men and women who work there. Mismatched desks, cram rooms, and exposed wires and cables hang everywhere. Mike McDonald, Assistant Director of the Administrative Bureau, explains it's a big problem. There are cables running through here that are in unprotected chases, obviously a violation of fire code right and left. But that's the least of worries in a building where electrical panels share a closet with janitor's mops. Plywood on windows is the only protection for the department's high-tech radio system, and there's no ventilation in the armory, where dangerous chemicals are used and stored. And it doesn't have a blast wall of any kind. It's not secure. If there was any fire of any kind, it wouldn't be protected from whatever uh, flames there may be. And needless to say, the entire room could actually explode. There are millions of dollars of deferred maintenance. The air conditioning system is patched together, and the furnace doesn't work. So there's no hot water in the building. But hidden behind the walls and floors are the more serious structural issues, tile walls, corroded plumbing, large cracks, and asbestos under it all. And finally, a basement below sea level. If we had a truly major event where we had a significant level of flooding in this particular area, you could envision this entire room potentially to the ceiling level could be filled with water. Washing away the entire property and evidence area. All of this is what led Mayor Kreisman to work to build a new police station in one phase. This new station will be built on First Avenue North directly across from the existing station. It will be energy efficient, strong enough to withstand at least a Category 4 storm, and will serve our community for 70 or more years. A new building would allow us to bring the City of St. Petersburg more effective, more efficient policing for years to come.